these are the zucchini plants that we had underneath the fabric cloth to keep the bugs out. And you can see what they've done with a little bit of rain. Uh, I'm standing up straight, so they really are four feet tall. And it is time to go down deep. come up with the first big zucchini. Well, the first picking, we've come up with these three. There's two or three more that are a little bit smaller than this, so we'll leave them for a few more days because first we've got to eat these. They're going to go into a dish that we're grilling on the grill tonight with salt and pepper and about an hour or so ago I went out and picked a bunch of banana peppers and some hot peppers it's already in the 90s today it's been unbelievably hot the bell peppers get kind of quiet when it gets that hot but the banana peppers and the spicy hot peppers will keep on going so we've taken a couple of pans give them an aluminum foil lining Cut up the peppers into decent sized little pieces. Add some nice fresh mushrooms. No, I haven't figured out how to grow mushrooms yet. But I did buy another kit today, so I'm going to try once again. If I ever actually get a mushroom, it's probably about a $400 mushroom. Because I have bought a lot of mushroom kits over the years. And now we took the middle size, largest? No, largest. We took the largest of those zucchinis you just saw me picking. And it's been cut up, so we've added this to it. And now in goes some little olive oil. And we'll add some salt and pepper. Then all this will go out and get put on the grill. And the grill will be at about 450 degrees. Roast all this stuff. The reason we use the, the, we buy the aluminum pans at one of the dollar type stores. You get a bunch of them. And they're dollar, I think these sizes is two for a dollar. Or on Costco, you get like a whole stack of them for seven or eight dollars. Then we'll line them with some aluminum foil. And you cook it outside. And if you're careful, you don't tear the aluminum foil. You peel up the aluminum foil, throw it away, reuse the pan. Saves doing all those dishes. And then see, that's why I'm the cameraman. because. Somebody else gets to do all the squishing stuff over there. Then they get all that oil all over themselves. Just mix it up some. And it's probably going to sit minute. a few minutes because I have some more sausages that are finishing up. And then these will head out to the grill. I think she's going to add a little bit more olive oil. You can use any kind of oil, I guess, but. Olive oil is one of the ones that's the healthiest, so why not use the stuff that's good for your heart instead of the stuff that's bad? Well, and then she adds to the mixing again. This is really incredibly simple. Just cut up the vegetables, put them in the pan, salt, pepper, olive oil, mix it up, put it on the grill. I guess on the grill, but 450 probably takes 30 minutes. You want to stir them up some with a spatula so they don't burn. Been about 20 minutes. And as you can see, as it starts to cook down, the mushrooms and the vegetables start to release quite a bit of moisture. So it looked like it was real dry when it started. Oh, it was hot. So you start to get a lot of moisture. And we like everything as soon as it cooks enough that it doesn't taste raw anymore. That's where I like it. So this stuff here is moving right along. And as the mushrooms cook down just a little bit more, the onions a little more. I'll consider it done. I can do the peppers just about raw, but I like the mushrooms and the 
onions cook pretty good. So we'll give it another 10 minutes and now it'll be ready to go. And we're going to have it tonight with some fresh salmon that we picked up at Earth Fair. So it's going to be quite a dinner. Okay, I pulled one pan off. Because one side of my grill is hotter than the other. These are really just about done also. And then this is a big piece of Scottish salmon. Well, it was a big piece. I got the guy to cut it in half for me. And then we bought about a little over a pound and a half. Swap these things around. Hotter up here at this end. Uh, 1.6 pounds. We cut it in half. I froze, froze half of it. So this is a 0.8 pound slice. Perfect to cut in half for two people. To go with all these nice vegetables. All right, these vegetables are done. And let's see how the salmon's doing. Look at the side. You can see it's getting it's ready to turn. One-handed with a small spatula. There we go. And this one, when I turn it, I can't stand the skin and that gray stuff. So I start peeling all that off. And it comes out really easy when that side's done. Ow. Fire's really hot. figure out which direction to go, you can get that really strong tasting dark meat off pretty easily. Scrape it off. I don't like it. Scrape that off. Now it's time to go get a plate because if I take all this in, the house is going to smell like fish. And if I take just the fish in, it doesn't have much smell. So. This is ready to eat.